the image you are about to see was taken by a woman in my campsite when I was attending the 2006 C. SETI Ambassador to the Universe training at Mount Shasta. This extraordinary image was titled The Loved One, as the photo was taken moments after a loving meditation done in the spirit of contacting the ET beings. The image was later posted on the C-SETI Center for the Study of Extraterrestrial Intelligence website, founded by Stephen Greer of The Disclosure Project. The following text was taken from the Destiny Universe Forum, where I posted this picture in 2008 and asked for dimensional perspective on the nature of the image. It's a moth. What occurs when the camera flash or direct light is reflected onto the moth within a specific direction. The light literally reflects as in a mirror, which is why the image of the moth would come forth as light. You won't see with the naked eye, though digital capturing would present it quite clearly, as indicated within the photo. Such specific moths literally have a protection glow around them. For other animals, it literally reflects as very bright, and thus they stay away. So, what you see in this photo is how the animal would see the moth. Vino. This reveals to us that there is a lot about our reality which we are not in fact aware of. But we won't become aware in fact if we remain as what we have become, as the ones seeking the light in the darkness, confusing pretty colors with awareness, believing the light holds some great truth which we must attain. How much longer will we flutter around waiting for some great ship to take us away to some galactic paradise? As long as we are making assumptions and opinions about what we see through the eyes of belief, seeing only what we want and desire to see, we are existing as a limited observer in our minds, seeing only in a way that supports our beliefs to continue, and denying anything that would invalidate our desires and wants. This is not awareness. This is the madness of enlightened self-interest. Awareness starts with taking responsibility for what we are actually aware of which is the world we are creating on Earth. We can see what we are doing when we look in awareness and self-honesty. We just have to be willing to face what we have judged to be darkness and stand equal with it stand equal with ourselves, our reality, instead of separating ourselves from Earth, looking for an easy way out. Like the moth, we may just get zapped. <laughs> 